Hi, Doug from Kyle's Bikes here again, and today we're going to take a look at the Salsa Cutthroat. The Cutthroat is Salsa's drop bar mountain bike built for adventure, and uh, it is specifically inspired and designed to conquer the Tour Divide. Uh, that's a route that involves single track, double track, gravel, and even some paved roads from Banff in Canada all the way down to Antelope Wells down in Arizona along the Continental Divide. Um, they're inspired so well about it that they actually put the route on the down tube with all the stopping points along the way. So that's kind of a cool feature. The things that make it good for a route like that is one, it's got really comes with pretty wide bars with a good flare for control off road. Um, it comes with wear bars, metal wear bars on the inside in case mud and buildup doesn't wear down the carbon. Same thing right here next to the crank. It's got a wear bar there. Um, it comes with an internal routed uh, fork that can be used for a generator hub. So you have all, all day lighting with no worry about the batteries. And it comes with a class 5 VRS vibration reduction system uh, on the rear of triangle where it allows the, the seat stays to flex under rough conditions, that kind of thing. Um, they come with 2.2 wide tires but you have clearance for up to a 2.4, so a true mountain bike tire. They're on 29er wheels, like I said, a mountain bike, drop bar mountain bike, and um, it's set up to be able to be a very relaxed ride. It's not necessarily a race geometry, although it could be a race gravel bike. Uh, it's really designed to be a bike packing adventure type bike. And to that end, they have all kinds of mounts on the top tube, and they have mounts all around the inside of the triangle to be able to put a bolt-on frame bag in, as well as water bottle mounts for three different water bottles. So you've got um, plenty, of, plenty of mounts to be able to put water bottles, gear, stow things. Um, it really is kind of an, a, a good adventure bike. It's their all-arounder on the, on the road and multiple road. This particular bike uh, retails for um, $46.99. The Cutthroat starts, and they're all carbon frames, but the Cutthroat starts around $3,600 and goes on up to the, to the high end of about $8,400. So we also wanted to show you what this bike would look like out in the field uh, when it's riding the gravel and the single track and doing adventure bike packing. This is a very good customer of ours and she's got it all decked out with the gear that she has. It's got the fork mounts with the bags on the front. It's got the salsa roll bag on the front mounted with the hard. Um, the tail bag and also the bag that goes on the top tube and of course the frame bag. One of the things that I had talked about was the 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 frame bag there's enough mounts inside that you can mount it and there's no straps at all on the frame so it keeps the frame real nice and clean it's got two mounting locations here to be able to put a, a keg down below and she keeps her repair kit and spare tube and that kind of stuff in here if she needs that um, this is the next upgrade from the bike what you get when you go to this is you do get a dropper seat post um, you end up with a one by GX system the SRAM uh, access system with electronic shifting and it also has true mountain bike gearing with a 52 tooth uh, maximum chain ring. Um, one of the things about the class 5 VRS re reduction system, class 5 is the largest type of gravel that they can use on the Iowa gravel roads and Salsa made a nod to the gravel roads in Iowa by naming that system like that. So I've owned a Cutthroat for several years now, and I've bike packed, uh, we bike packed the Mickelson Trail in South Dakota in the Black Hills, uh, done back-to-back -back centuries down on the Katy Trail uh, in Missouri, done a number of bike packing weekend, long weekend trips here in central Iowa on both gravel and pavement. Also did some riding down in the gravel down in Columbia, South America, and this bike although isn't geared as a race bike, could also double as a race bike and an adventure bike because it handled everything I've thrown at it over the last few years and it's just a joy to ride.